Uh, in our last lesson in mathematics, we looked at thirds, and I want to welcome you now to our lesson today, where we will continue with the same. But this time, we are going to see how we can rationalize the denominator of a given expression. For our lesson today, you need to remember that when a third is multiplied by itself, the square root sign will be eliminated. So you need to remember that the square root of m multiplied by the square root of m will give us m. We are going to use this idea in um, making the denominator of a given expression a rational number. Remember in our last lesson, we explained that thirds are irrational uh, numbers. So when an expression has an irrational number in the denominator, we can remove uh, or we can change that number to rational by either multiplying that number under the root by the same number or by multiplying by the conjugate. So we want to explain what a conjugate is. And again, in this one, we need to remember the concept of difference of two squares. We need to remember that whenever we multiply a plus b by a minus b, this is something that was learned in the quadratics. We will get a squared minus b squared. So the only difference between the what is in this bracket and what is in this bracket is the negative sign. So again, if we have an expression like 2 plus root 3 appearing in the denominator, we will need to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by the conjugate. That is 2 minus root 3. So that when we remove these brackets, we will get 2 squared minus root 3 squared. Like in this case, we will get 2 squared minus root 3 squared, which will give us 4 minus 3, which is 1. The one we have gotten now will be rational. So we need to apply the concept of difference of two squares when we are simplifying sads. We also need to remember from indices that when um, root of m is multiplied by the root of m, we talked about m power half times m power half becoming m power one, the root uh, is gotten rid of that way. So we need to look at uh, examples and we will pick on uh, something that we know from trigonometry. The sines and cosines of and tangents of special angles like 30, 60, uh, 45. Let's take for, for instance the cosine of 45. The cosine of 45 degrees we know it is 1 over the square root of 2. When we look at this fraction, the denominator is uh, a third. It's an irrational number. Now we are saying we can multiply this, the root 2, by another root 2. And because we don't want to change the given expression, we must make sure what we multiply by retains the original expression. So we will multiply the denominator by root 2 and the numerator by root 2. Therefore, we will not have changed the expression we are given because we have simply multiplied it by 1. This will now give us 
This one multiplied by root 2 will give us root 2. And from this expression here, the denominator is now rational. Therefore, another way of writing cos 45 equal to 1 over root 2 would be a half of root 2 when the denominator has already been rationalized. So to rationalize is actually to make the denominator rational. We want to look at another example where we can now apply the idea of conjugate. So in, in this case, we have to look for the conjugate of this one. And again, remember, we will not change the given expression. So we must write it in such a way that we multiply by 1. And therefore, in our solution, we will now say 2 root 3 over 2 plus root 3. Here we multiply by the denominator by 2 minus root 3 and here by 2 minus root 3, so that we end up multiplying by 1, and therefore changing nothing. Then we'll have 2 root 3 into 2 minus root 3 over, we come to the difference of two squares, the one we talked about, and therefore this sim simply becomes 2 squared subtract root 3 squared. And that's 2 squared minus root 3 squared, which therefore will give us 2, 2 times 2 root 3, that becomes 4 root 3. And then we take 2 root 3, multiply by negative root 3, and that becomes uh, 2 times 3, that's 6 over down here we get 4 minus 3 and therefore our final answer becomes 6 uh, minus 6 plus 4 root 3 over 1 or simply 6 minus 6 plus 4 root 3. We are going to stop there for today. Remember to subscribe so that you can join me as we look at more examples on the same in the coming videos.